Oh, yellow. <laughs> Definitely didn't see you there. At least not for the past two months now, have I? Let's cut to the chase here. I had a lot of boxers show up to my house. I was kind of confused because I'm used to receiving a uh, different type of box. If you know what I mean. But the real situation here is we're going to be building ourselves a personal computer today and I'm going to show you exactly how to do so with said parts that I've received. All top of the line, not made out of wood or plastic, none of that all metal and, and cotton and fans and processors and um, stuff and gubbins. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and I'll show you how to build a computer the peebus way. <laughs> so now you're at step one, part one, Maximus one of how you're gonna set up your PC. No, do not start with any of the components. It's time to tell you a thing or two about ESD, or otherwise known as electronic stadium disablers. Watch out for them, they're not a myth. I have here the uh, inside the guts of the case itself. Step one is to put in the motherboard. They call the motherboard the mother of all boards, and in this board I'm going to be installing a Maximus VI-1 Hero Motherboard. It's made for people who enjoy video games. However, I'm probably the most video game person ever. Here it is. Now, let's go ahead and pop her in there. Simply remove the motherboard from the case itself, like so. You shouldn't have to force it. There it is. You'll notice this is in uh, mini ITX format. It comes with a fan. Next, we're going to install our CPU. Here it is right here. Little known fact, CPU stands for Child Protection Unit. Here it is, here's our Intel CPU. Plug it into the CPU slot labeled number one. Perfect. Make sure you apply the proper amount of thermal paste. This CPU has not been locked, therefore it requires no cooling whatsoever. Moving on, we'll go to the RAM. This is the Corsair Vengeance Pro Series RAM. Let's install it. Perfect. So how are you going to store storage and memory on your computer? Of course, with a Samsung 840 EVO hard disk drive. It's good. Here it is. Here's the EVO. Make sure it's connected. Again, you shouldn't have to force this. This case comes with wonderful ergonomics. Next up is your power supply. I have here an EVGA 1000 Giga 2. That's perfect. Performs at 1000 gigawatts of power. So we're going to take our power supply that I just removed from the box. Go ahead and plug it into the power supply bracket located right here. Now lastly you're saying to yourself, well I need to connect this all up to something. What is it? Well I got some high quality cables. You see right here, here's a cable. So we'll go ahead and connect those cables with mom's spaghetti. Oh hell, <laughs> looks like you caught me putting the finishing touches on this old compy. That right there is the Growlix processor. Very big and robust, I'll tell you that much. And this is the final build. Go ahead and have yourself a look. You know, this computer will fulfill every single one of my needs. It will allow me to complete anything and everything. And you too as well. You can do this any day of your life if you choose. Well, <laughs> deep peeves and all. See you next time, folks. Computer will fulfill every single one of my needs. Computer will fulfill every
every single one of my needs. 